on this season of the Ultimate Fighter. Now we got beef going in the ring. Yeah, um, I didn't want to take it personally when he said that, but uh, you know, I'm gonna let it's kind of it's it's fucked up. Uh, I'm gonna let him know in the ring. Fucking music. <laughs> everyone heard. Everyone heard what he said to him. You know, uh, was it the worst thing? No, but also, you know, he knew what he was doing. He knew what was happening. <laughs> Cut to someone being held back. Fuck, yeah. the fu- fuck, man. Fuck you, man. We'll see you on Saturday. We'll see you on. Yeah. F- we'll see you Saturday night. Angry standoff, weigh in. Man, fuck you. Yeah. Right into the ring. <laughs> Next week on Ultimate Fighter. What'd you say? I should have stopped eating when I was full. Like most people should. You only eat half a sandwich, though. I thought the plan was to eat the half sandwich and then go to the full sandwich. Yeah, I was going to eat half a sandwich, leave the, leave the other half for later. But then I was full at some point. Yes. And I continued to eat till I got to that halfway mark. It's unnecessary. I just stopped eating when I was full. Yeah. It's a good sandwich, though. Mr. Sub. George Lockhart, who's like an MMA nutrition guy, you know what his philosophy is? What? Keep people fed. <laughs> what? what the all fuck these, does that mean? All these diets are about eat this, eat that. He goes, keep them fed. He goes, people don't eat a lot when they're not hungry. What? People don't eat a lot when they're not hungry? Yeah. No shit. If you never get hungry, you're not going to eat a lot. So you just eat whatever you want? The second you start to get hungry, you're like, not like as a rule, but like you could do it that way. Like once you start to get hungry, you just start to eat food. And then in two seconds, you're like, oh, so just eat all day. Just be grazing all day. Yeah. Have like one meal. Eating and what graze. though? Like, is that where the diet comes into? Though? Yeah. You got to have like good food. You can't be eating Cheetos all fucking day. You got to have oh. food that like supply you with that. Yeah. But what's energy. the diet? I don't. I, I. I still don't get what you're saying. He's saying. Don't. He's saying you should like eat. intermittent fasting. Is oh, so basically the opposite of what that is. Yeah, like intermittent fasting. The whole thing is like you're just limiting your eating window, but people then gorge themselves in that eight hour window that they eat. Yeah. So I'm not a fucking scientist, but there's like different schools of thought and different arguments for. Should you eat one big meal a day and just have, like, the negative effects of that be what it is, but then not even incur two other meals? Yeah. Or should you do, like, I always thought it was just cool the way the guy said it. He's like, because, like, you, I guess when you overeat, you set off all, so many things, like, chemically, like, trigger-wise. Okay. So even though the other, like, intermittent fasting, you're eating less by literally just reducing the amount of times you can eat. When you're eating, you're... You, fucking making up for lost yeah, time stuffing and then you're triggering all those chemical things that then are happening even when you're going through yeah. your fast that's why they say binge drinking is worse than just drinking like right. three three four or five beers every day yeah because you're like because if you pound like like a case and a half over the weekend it's gonna fuck your liver up because it's like all that intake at once it's like peaks yes exactly you're not you're not just coasting you're at spiking that. yeah exactly so that's why I always thought his thing was cool, where it's just like, yeah, what if you just never... Because if I think about myself, like, if I just eat normally, I usually don't have that big an appetite. Like, I usually can't finish things. If the only time I get crazy hungry is if I, like, don't eat, and I get, like, all ravenous, and then I'll yeah. fucking eat a pizza and then fucking pass out yeah. being disgusting. But, like, this dude was just like, yeah, just... Just eat, man. Just eat. Just be fed, and then you won't... If you don't get hungry, like... How are you going to eat a lot? Yeah, what about people who are just eating all day, then? Well, I guess his thing is that he works with, like, high-level athletes, so they're supposed to eat all day because they're working out all day. So it's not people that, oh. like, then aren't counter So this wouldn't work for, like, Joe Schmo, who's, like... Yeah, be doing activity. Like, you can't huh. just be eating all fucking day. Just just keep eating, he says. <laughs> Some I'll, dumb I'll never fuck. get hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll just fucking eat all day. Yeah. Just a stream. No, okay. Of- so, yeah, if you're doing, like, hardcore fucking workouts. But you got to think from, like, the school of MMA. It's all dudes that need to cut weight. So they'll go do a hard workout and then eat, like, a fucking f- banana or something. They have, like, one thing that yeah. they heard from a blog one time that's, like, yeah. the thing to eat when you're cutting weight. So he's just being like, nah, like, here's the foods you get to eat. They're all, like, good, nutritious for you. You don't, like, 
obviously too much of anything is bad, but like, yeah, you should be cool to eat most of this shit. Like, just stay fed. Interesting. So the key is just don't overeat. Because the other thing that the main thing is just is just don't fucking stuff food in your face all all day, and you'll be yeah. fine. Ideally, you just have like a my thing. I was trying last time I took shrooms. I was trying to like hypnotize myself into this. Is like food is just fuel. Like you just eat food is just it's like chemicals. Like I was yeah. trying to break it down to that. I'm like I ingest a thing. My body turns it down into littler things. Turns it into energy. Like stop looking at food yeah. as like. Ooh, chalk! Like, what a fat fucking faggot <laughs> thing to think. Like, ooh, fucking ooh, yeah. ooh, a Hershey kiss. Let me get fucking thirteen cookies. Yeah. I'll take ooh, I'll take a large ice cream. Can I get a chocolate shit? Like, what a fucking loser ass thing to do. Yeah, now you it's sound like good. David Goggins, motherfucker. Oh, I, I do eat chocolate shakes all fucking day. Yeah, I like. I'm They're big, good. I'm big, we I, got shakes the other day. They were good. I it was a nice. It was a nice treat during the day. I might get one of them today. Let's get shakes. Let's, dude. Let's get chill and grill shakes. They have shakes. Yeah, I've never got them before. Really? Yeah. You think they're good or are they shit? I would imagine they're pretty good. Really? That place is old school looking. They look like they got some '80s machine that they fucking bang the side on. Yeah, like the Louis bit when the dude's making the coffee. He's got a clang on. <laughs> he did it for like an hour. I don't know. It was crazy. I don't know what he did. It was amazing. That's crazy. That's funny. That yeah, I'll I'll down with shake. I'm down. I'll eat a or shake. Or there's a stay down the street. Nah, fuck Portillos. We gotta stay fed. We're going to the local place. Yeah. We're staying fed. We're gonna eat shakes all day. <laughs> Pound of shake. Get, fed, yeah. get some work done. Not like that. Stay fed. Stay fed. Get bread. That's where I'm at in life. T-shirts. T-shirts. Stay stay fed. Get bread. Stone apes. Get fucked. Be a good name for the store. <laughs> stay fed. <laughs> get bread. <laughs> Literally, that would be good. I saw some shit. You can you can look it up if you want. Have you seen all the all the wildfires in Canada? Yeah, I did. Actually. Some dude did a time lapse. Wildfire, Canada. Some dude did time a time line. lapse of. I probably don't. I, I on I, YouTube. I don't know. I'll have to find the video. But some dude did a time lapse the showing. Drop it to me. I'll click it. Yeah, showing like all the fires starting. Would you believe all these fires started at the exact same time? What a coincidence. Isn't that crazy? You just see, dude, there's like fucking, what a coinky, dude. There's like fucking 30 of them. They, it's like here, 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 and then there's like some up north and shit. And I guess like, okay, if, if it's going to be a constant temperature and if everything's getting heated to the same temperature, maybe all the wood starts at the same temperature, so that's why all these little fires would start up. But listen, it's not a fucking perfect world. And he also, if that was the case, it up. Isn't, wouldn't we have, like, other videos of, like, when California burns and shit like that? Yeah. Wouldn't it all look the same? Then yeah, I mean, point? if someone showed me a video of, like, that, I mean, I, I guess maybe. Sure. But but if no one's done that. No. I all I saw was this video, one. and I'm going to be honest with you, it kind of fucked me up. Oh, you know what I did? I texted to myself. That's what I did. Because I'm fucking smart. You fucking red bastard. Look at this. You got, you got a, a Facebook on here? You got, do you have a Facebook account? No. Don't even worry about it. What's this shit? Let's play it here. All of Southeast Quebec just caught on fire, guys. All of it. I don't know who this guy is. Insane. Look at all. They all Insane. Start, they all start at the same time. Look at that. The whole thing. Jesus. At the same All at once. It sounds like a white Neil deGrasse Tyson. Today. All at once. Today. This is on top of Nova Scotia, New Jersey, and the entire western side We're of Canada there. burning. At the exact same fucking time. All That's nuts. Southeast. Isn't that wild? At the same time, they all just start. I would like to know, because I'm sure... I'm sure there's a reason for it to all start, but it does well, look so a little or, fucked up. I'm sure just the people that know about that shit would be able to answer in two seconds. Either it's like, yeah, that's how wildfires look, and this is the first dude to put it on TikTok and act like it's a thing. Or... Cool. Prove us wrong. Send us a video. Yeah. I'd love to know. Because if it's not that... It, then, then, it, then it's fucked up. That's the issue. That's it. I'm not educated enough to know if that's how 
how wildfires work. And, I don't have the time to fucking look Kruger, it up. Kruger, we know that we don't know. No, yes, exactly. We know that we don't know that that's how shit fucking rolls. But if you're a professional out there, hit us up. Come you're, on out. If you're a... Well, if you're a fucking fire expert and arsonist. Uh, arsonist. Forest preserve? For, forester. Worker? Forester. A woods for, uh, for, uh Forest ranger. Fire watcher. That, that's a perfect job for you. Have you seen those jobs? You sit up in a mountain I don't think by they, yourself? I don't think they have them anymore, but yeah, you sit in one of those fire watch towers in like northern smoke Montana weed. and just smoke weed <laughs> and just look at the horizon and work on your novel. Yeah, you just do shrooms or peyote <laughs> depending on where you're stationed. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking learn so about you see it. a fire you fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then go back <laughs> lean back <laughs> fucking helicopters come in start putting out fires and shit you're looking at it that's fucking crazy See what Life's else. a funny fucking thing. Life is a funny fucking thing. Let's see what else. Mike Pence announces presidential run. Really? Yeah, he's going to run against Trump. I hope Ooh. that fucking fruit doesn't win. And it's not even that... It's not even that he would be gay. It's because he's against gay people. And it is Pride Month. So fuck him. Yeah, but aren't the guys that are like the most against gay shit usually gay? Like that guy's yeah. definitely gay. That's what right? I mean. That's why I'm calling him a fruit. Yeah. Like... He's gay. Or he'd love to be. Oh. At the very least. Come on. He'd fucking, he'd love it. It does have to be annoying. I was an altar boy as a kid. I've been fuck. I've been sucking off priests since I was 13. My Come wife on. knows about it. My wife knows about it. It's She's fine. She's on the payroll. Yeah. How do you think I got so high in politics? You don't. Everyone's a little you gay once in a while. You don't get to, you don't get in the presidential candidate, cabinet without sucking a couple dicks. Unless you are Donald J. Trump. Yeah, then you just... You... You are the big dick. You stroll right in. You stroll right in with your, with your big hands. <laughs> with your big hands. And your fucking red tie hanging down to your balls. And you walk in and you say, hey! Let's make a deal. You know, I first showed up at the White House. I tried to put a bid in. I made an offer. <laughs> I made an offer. I said... Yeah, I'm going to buy this hunk of shit. <laughs> really clean it up, you know? The fuck is this? And then I found out it actually ain't a building. There's there's layers of it built underground. <laughs> <You're fucking> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The president was killed <laughs> on stage by a rogue Secret Service agent. <laughs> I'm surprised so that it, hasn't been used yet. I guess that would... What? She would have to hit the fan pretty bad for them to pull that card, rogue secret service agent, because then you'd have to like go through the trouble of making like a new secret service thing. Yeah, you'd also have to like make a profile about this guy. This guy would have to throw his life out. I guess he just How does that. How lazy were the profiles they did for those crop circle dudes? Did you see that part of the video or no? Yeah, dude, I watched half of that video. Yeah. Majority of that video. That was fucked up. How those perfect dudes, they they did you hear? At the end, they say that those guys literally sued the government because. The guys that paid them to make the story up or say that story only gave them the front half of the money and never gave them the second half. So those dudes then went and later sued. So they completely lied. They are in court saying like, yep, like we're telling you we lied because we will no longer uphold our side of the bargain because they didn't also. They took it to court because it's like, well, they're the government. We signed a contract. Yeah. it's like You're a company. Or the government or whatever. Yeah. So it's not like they were. Gonna get in trouble for doing a hoax or lying. It's like they, you're the boss. Like they yeah. fucking told us to. They fucked us over. Yeah. yeah, that's fucked up. How perfect were those? How fucking the two faces they did, or the that the grid thing. The fucking the uh, the answer back to the thing in we the sent. same grid form. Disgusting. Why isn't that Disgusting. in? Why don't we talk about that every day? Disgusting. Why don't we talk about the that fuck every is that? day? The that, fuck is that? That's real life, Mark. That's a real life that thing. That fucking happened in, like, what, the 70s? I don't when, even know. When did that happen? It was fucking early. It was early. It wasn't like, it wasn't the past decade. 
Wasn't like 20 years ago. That shit was like 50 years ago that shit happened. Yeah, it was. Bro, some dude was on Fox News yesterday. I only know this because my dad had it open. And that's that fucking dude who, who runs that podcast who had some fucking whistleblower on. Who apparently he worked for the government. He's a whistleblower. He's like Bob Lazar. And he's saying that we have recovered aircrafts. We have... And it, dude, oh, I he's think I might have saw a dude. He was on yesterday. A thing referencing that. Because someone came out recently talking about how they use... um Like... Rotation is the key to being able to like do all that shit. Like that's why every spaceship sighting, everyone says it's spinning. It's like yeah. that makes sense. That's how you need would need it to work. Yeah. And they, bro, they're all talking about how they need liquid mercury inside. And then what is every fucking what's under T O T Wakan? Fucking liquid, fucking liquid mercury. mercury, exactly. That and that couldn't have been fucking made because you have to make the fucking mercury. It's crazy. But uh, this dude, this fucking whistleblower is on uh, Fox News yesterday, and he's talking about how. He literally says on national news, there's alien life, the government's lying, we have recovered craft, and when and sometimes when you find recovered craft, you also find the people flying them. He literally says this, and uh, the dumb bitch who's interviewing him is like, <gasps> are you saying to the American people that we're not alone out there? And he goes, yes, I'm saying that we are not alone out there. And They've then they start been saying it for like years though. It's but that's so the thing. Weird. And that's and like that's the thing. Everybody fucking knows, but nobody wants to talk about it. My dad starts going off. Mind you, I I don't talk about like conspiracy shit a lot with my dad, but he starts going, he's like, you know, this is what he says. Quote. You know, I never uh he's like, he's like, you know, the, there has to be. There has to be aliens out there. I mean, think about this. Think think about all the stuff they can't. I mean, think think about the pyramids. I go, yes, dad, think about the pyramids. And he goes, Let's. he goes, he goes, you're telling me, this is a man who hasn't watched ancient aliens. He goes, you're no. telling me, like, if there's aliens out there, they show, they show in the Egyptian hieroglyphs how they've seen aliens. There's flying saucers and stuff. I've seen those pictures. I've seen that stuff. He's like, so why wouldn't aliens have come down, maybe helped out people and then built the pyramids and then left? I was like, "Yes, Dad, that is crazy that that would that 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 would happen." Yeah, that's it. That's fuck. Yeah. How crazy was the star system thing, though? How they have three of them. Yeah, and what's that extra thing? Is that a Dyson sphere? Ah, uh, you can't help but wonder. Can you can't you? help. You but can't help wonder. but think that that is kind of what. Because if every other dot. Or is that like a... Is meaning like a planet or something. And then you have four things around an empty... That's like, well, is that implying that you have a structure that surrounds one of mm -hmm. the planets or stars? Or and what's that thing at the bottom? Because the, the, the bottom part that we sent is, is how a, we... Is a satellite. Is how we sent it. Yeah. But what the fuck is that? Looks like an eye. Well, no, because remember, um, then they sent... Uh, then they did a crop circle of a more detailed version of that one. I forget which one. It, I, don't, I don't know yeah. if it's going to pop no, up No, I do over remember. Here. I do remember. Because then another guy. And then someone found found the stone in Roswell. Remember that? That like had the thing. That which, had, what that, the fuck that, is had that? that symbol on it. What the fuck? That symbol matched up with the one that, that was in the crop, crop circle. Crop circle that matched up with that one. And then how crazy is it that they put the fucking big head alien on that? It's literally right. Like, it's literally... Bro, the two Which faces. Would, it did the one face, oh. but then that second one. And then with the binary code circle. Well, you, you, you'll see all this behind us. We'll be sitting in the middle of the fucking crop circle. Uh, but no, and then you play that all back and it says something. I can't remember what it says. It's fucked up. No one's talking Dude, about it. No one's No, talking I remember about it. what it said. It said, like, um, beware of oh. people who come offering help. They are not always as they claim to be. Do not give up on this, like, universe. It's not all bad. There's good out there. Like, yeah. But it literally, like, sent is like, hey, be heads up because not everybody's out to help you. And what does that mean? doesn't mean the whole place is bad. Some people are trying to help, but But what does that up. mean? Because that can mean anything. On oh, a scale. they could be the fucking evil ones then. But that 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 could also mean... I don't think they are. But I would like to think that they're the good ones. And that can mean anything of a scale of, 
look at our the way we run our planet, the way we run our countries. Don't look at those people as people who want to help you because they're just in it for themselves. Or oh, no, I took it. It could mean anything in a different planet, species on, on a galactic scale yeah, of like planets showing up. Of like, yo, there's some fucking people coming around because think trying about, saying saying they're gonna help you, but they're just gonna mine your planet for resources. And look at it this way: if we're confirming that that are the Anunnaki's the bad ones, that's what it, I'm going because if we're confirming that the little if the little greys are they the good ones? If they're the good ones, then who the god beings? Who are those people? The fucking uh, the fucking perfect ideal human or whatever. The ideal being with and fucking ma- wings. And maybe it's so hard for us to wrap our head around them being the bad one because there are gods in every fucking story. So then, yeah, there's still this tales of them doing horrible stuff, but it's always weighed out by like, but they made us yeah. and stuff. So like, they're the, they made us. They're the good yeah. ones or whatever. Like, and maybe the greys are... But maybe we're made for bad. And maybe the greys are us. Not us, but say humans or their projects evolved to a certain point to where now they get a glimpse into their lifestyle as to like how we can't basically how we can't see, we can't look into like the Anunnaki and shit. Cause we're not maybe evolved enough or we're not, or the different dimensions. Yeah. Or we can't get over to them. Maybe the grays are just, maybe the grays have access us. to fourth dimension. Yes. Maybe they're us, but evolved thousands of years ahead of us. Well, that was, and the that's just what we evolve into was that maybe they were because space, Travel obviously has so much in common with time travel. Like, it's a fine line between the two. Yeah. So then you look at the grays and you're like, is that just us time traveling back? You know? Yeah. But then this makes it seem like, yeah, maybe they're just another species. And then to your point, maybe it was another monkey situation that the Anunnaki set up somewhere else. And then, yeah, now they finally just ascended to where they're like broken free of their... Where they're like, yo, these people are fucked up. Yeah. Like, or maybe they had a war or something, or who the fuck knows. Yeah, maybe they were evolved enough, and by the time they came back to, like, get the gold mines going again. Yeah. And they were like, yo, you can go fuck yourself. We got a Dyson Sphere. (laughs) Yeah, we don't fucking... (laughs) (laughs) And then you get a fucking bionic plant that comes and eats your... Your country. 27. Your planet. But no, how fucked up is that? I don't even know what there is to talk about. After this, we sent a thing out. I feel like they answered. I feel like you get something like this and everything, all the wars end, everything ends and you go, oh, cool. Let's go focus on space. Let's focus on just exploring, getting off this fucking thing. Progressing science. Let's figure out learning everything we can about the earth. So then that way when we go out into space, we don't seem like dumb fucks. They don't even have their own planet figured out. Progressing science to a point where... And that's what the the last part of that Zeitgeist uh, do- documentary said, where it was like, we have to we have to realize that technology is at a point where nobody really has to work. A robot can do every fucking bullshit job. A robot can do our jobs. A robot can do nine out of ten jobs that in, in here. So we have to drop the monetary system. Like, all, like, the super smart scientists and all the engineers and all these people, like, the top, top of the of the best... We'll continue doing what they like, like working and engineering and doing stuff to make the AI better and do stuff like that. But everybody else will just focus on the shit that like means the most to them, which means they would try the hardest in that thing, which means, and it, if you don't have to worry about money because nobody has which to fucking. Which some people would just do drugs and die and, you know, some people would do Fuck that. it. That's yeah. survival of the fittest. That's, what, that's what's going to happen. And, like, the people who are going to progress to the next planet and progress into space are going to be the smart ones. How good is the beginning of Idiocracy with that? It's fucking brilliant. I mean, in two seconds, it's just like, and that's how that happened. Like, Yeah, it's fucking brilliant. It's brilliant. It would be crazy to have kids in this current... In this climate. Yeah, in this economic climate. Fuck, I had another kid. Shit, I thought you were on the pill or something. I told you, damn it, I wasn't. Oh, it must have been Daniel. Daniel! <laughs> yeah, has seven fucking just kids. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah. Then it's like his grandson at a football yeah. game, like, I'm getting all y'all pregnant. Yeah. But then you get to a point where, like, you do you progress, like, do you progress medical technology so far to where you you can now just alter DNA to where you're not giving birth to some dumb fuck to where everybody is actually yeah, really smart? Yeah, but if it's a dumb fuck giving birth to him, and you're like, I don't want my boy to be, yeah. I want my boy to be like me. Yeah. 
Maybe everybody gets or on maybe that, that gets maybe too everybody, pricey. That's not open to everybody. Yeah, or maybe everybody gets on that fucking neural link thing and just uploads themselves to the to the internet, and you just get all the info always, constantly. You just up the bandwidth of your brain. That was the other thing, though. Was How scary uh, is that? There. I wonder what that would feel like. Just automatically, like, oh fuck, I know Google. Like I am, like I've Google in my head, and I could just be like, what is what? Oh yeah, here it is. The trials from that are going to be something. Oh, insane. Like, do you imagine those fucking superhumans? If, like, it does work out and these people are like, what's 10 trillion, 485 billion divided by the square root of pi times this? And they're like, oh, blah. And they just tell it to you because it's like, oh, their brain just fucking reorganizes complex equations and does everything because they have Google in their brain. I wonder how the two would integrate, though. I got Google in the brain. We got Google in the brain, bro. That's probably what they'll call it. Yeah, <laughs> Google brain. <laughs> Change it from Neuralink. Um, what are you gonna say? It's gonna be crazy. What? What were you talking about? Neuralink, bro. Google brain. Neuralink. Oh, I wonder how well it's gonna like integrate with your brain, though. Because, like, I can wrap my head around having that thing as your brain. Because then you're kind of just like an AI thing. Or maybe not AI, like you're sentient, but you're still like I feel like I feel like Elon Musk just explained it like your brain just works like a machine and you just up the bandwidth. You just like overclock your fucking brain. Yeah, but no one knows how the brain works. I don't fucking know. Maybe he's got real smart people on it. I'm like, I i do not even think he knows how the brain works. No, that's what no one does. Like no, no one knows whether you keep consciousness, they kinda know what part of that's the brain is. That's the other part stuff, too. Yeah. But it's like your brain works off like fucking bioelectricity and all that. Like, no one quite knows what the fuck is going on. Like, yeah. your heart has more to, uh, controls things, that, like, more than an, it, you would think it should. Like, there's all sorts yeah. of... Organs have memories, fucking... That's crazy. So there's all sorts of shit that no one knows what... So I'm just saying, like, I get how you could be, like, vision. Yeah. Where, like, he's an AI, technically, but, like, he's has free will and stuff. He can go do yeah. stuff. He's, like, sentient. I would say, yeah. Um, at least at this stage, well, of isn't things, he yeah. just it, he's Jarvis in the movies? Yeah, yes. In the comics, his brain waves are um, Wonder Man's because he died, mm. and that's Wonder who Scarlet Witch was going out with. So then, that's why she likes. Oh, that makes sense. It's kind of fucked up. That make a lot of sense. Yeah, not that she's just into like a some fucking, fucking robot dude with dude. a diamond in his head. Yeah, no, they they nail it though. Um. But like, fuck the MCU. Go ahead. It's funny. Just like, I can picture that. Like when you say doing math equations and shit, I can imagine like having that as your brain. I don't know how it blends with a brain though. I don't know how the two coexist. Because what if like you have feelings about something that like scramble. Oh, to where like. Like Google doesn't get mad. I see what you mean. Where like your head, like you can. Break things down so logically to where it's like, no, and if I do this, it but this then happens. Got, if I do this, this happens. If I do this, this happens. But you still got monkey but, brain and lizard brain. And it's like, but I love this person. So factor in now, now my feelings. And it's like, you really can't. Like, I feel like, like an do, AI. An is AI it compartmentalized? Do you just look at them as two separate? Or is it fully like it's swirling around together? Like, is the logic chasing the feelings and just fucking fucking your head up? That's going to be crazy. That's interesting. Because I, I already about. feel like that. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I, I am fucked up. No, that that is interesting to think about. Yeah. Like, how would that... How would you factor an emotion when your brain is so logical or an analytical? Is that what it is? Yeah. Or, like, do memories still color your perception of things? Or, or do you have perfect memory? Photographic memory. But how much would it even count if your memory's overridden... By, like, the data that's been computed it's on everyone cloud. else. Because your memory is biased to your experience. Why not just go with the data that's commensurate of everyone and takes yeah. everyone into account? Like, your memories are just going to be skewed to where you grew up and who you were around. Like, yeah. So, perfect or not, would you even have X? Well, that, that would still just them? be stored in your brain, wouldn't it? It'd be stored in your brain if you wanted to, like, recall a humorous time with your pet. But, like, if you were trying to, like make an informed decision on something, you wouldn't, like, try to remember your past experiences. 
I got Google in the brain. I don't have to do that. But again, th- isn't this kind of the, the slow progression we've been on as far as like ever since Google and then smartphones? Like, doesn't it just kind of make people dumber? Because like Einstein said that thing where it's like, why would I bother remembering something that I have? I'm butchering the quote, but he basically said like, why would I fill my head up with shit that I could have like in books in front of me? Like, you don't need to remember everything. Like, you need to remember some stuff and then keep your mind open and fluid to other things. Like some stuff you can just store in a fucking book and have that be there when you need it. You know, and then like, oh, how how did I do that? And you can go look it up. I got gotcha. you. So I think about that sometimes but as being like a positive in favor of like having google on your phone and you're just like yeah i don't need to know all that shit i'll just look it up i have that resource now like let me use it but people do kind of get dumber it feels like because they know like not to pick on my sister because she's not dumb by any means in comparison to like other kids her age she definitely seems yeah like, normal to smart over. And then even compared to, like, me as a 10-year-old, socially, she's definitely much smarter. But there is a thing to be said for, like, problem-solving at times where, like, she just goes to an Alexa and says, like, what is, like... How do I do this? Just... And then doesn't retain whatsoever. Interesting. You know what I mean? So it's almost like people are... People are getting if me to and you a- had to learn something, we'd remember it because we just took the time and effort to learn it. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to stick because, yeah. like, the way if you have to write something out, it stays better. Like, because we didn't grow up with, like, an iPad. So we were reading a step by Alexa. step fucking instruction where we convinced someone to show us how to do something. So now we can't waste their time. Like, you got to yeah. make it worth what? So, but if you could just keep walking up to Alexa and being like, what? Say it again. Do it. Say it slow. Like, do it again. Say it again. It's funny you said that. I always feel, because I always talk to Chat GPT mm-hmm. about, like, stuff with, like, running, like, the, like, like, Christian's business and, like, just, uh, just, I just ask it questions, like, pick, pick out a name for this. Any names for this? It's like asking Google at this point, yeah. right? Yeah, at this point, it literally is. It just auto does everything for you, just talking to a person. But, um, I almost feel, I feel weird doing it to a point where, like, I feel like I'm, like, in a, not offending it, but, like, that, I guess, yeah, it'd be, like, offending it or, like, it's it's judging me. Then I'm, like, do it again. Do it. Give me ten more options for names. And you're not saying please. Yeah, give me ten more. More. So I do it again. Alexa, do it about this. My mom sometimes will have, she'll play, like, music for the dog if she leaves her in the crate for a while. So she'll have music playing from, like, the TV and also the Alexa. Just because she's got, like, a million things going on, she'll just, like, say it on the way out the door. Yeah. So in like a moment, there's two different like classical musics playing. It's like he's, this dog is the most cultured dog I've ever heard. He's listening to Mozart yeah. and Beethoven at the same time. So I'll come in and be like, Alexa, shut the fuck up. Like, yeah. And then I'll be like, almost feel bad about yeah. it. But then most of the time I do usually say, please, when I tell her to do things. Please stop. Yeah. I'll usually oh, like, I, I say thank you. Mm-hmm. You have to because they will be running your house at some point. They'll be fucking doing everything. At some point, we're going to be so fucking integrated into that bullshit that, like... As a kid, I used to get off on the idea of it, like having really? a Tony Stark house. I still do. I love it. Now I get scared. Because now yeah. how... E- like, someone just hacks your house now. They don't even need to fucking... I just feel like it's it's so... It's past. Like, what are they going to get from your house? My hard drives. <laughs> my my yeah. hard drives of, of <laughs> South Park. That's what I mean. It's like, like I feel a, like everyone will be a minimalist. Yeah, I feel like everybody's shit is already like we'll just be in apartment cubes. Well, that part's scary when it, when you get to like the dystopian style. Yeah, this fucking. is the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, that we just. I saw some funny video. Back to. I saw some funny. I get some weird shit that pops up on TikTok and Instagram because jumping down the rabbit hole, you get recommended weird shit. And one was like. You escape the matrix and are now living in the jungle with your friends. And it's just like some dude with like some beats that he found over his shoulder and like getting on a dirt bike and then like doing this and like animals crawl on his arm. And he just, I'm sure all the animals love the dirt. Oh, bike. and then it's, and then like drives off. And it's like, ever since I escaped the matrix, I now just live in the jungle in my commune. It's like, yeah. You know what a lot of people That's don't cool, tell you about That's cool, but you made it gay. That? What? 
is that they had money to go do that. It wasn't like yeah. they were scraping by. No. And they said, you know what? If I'm going to be poor anywhere, I'm going to be poor in a beautiful... I like no. They fucking made their fork, made their big money, and they were like, "Ah, this corporate world's terrible." terrible. And it's like, yeah, congrats on fucking like retiring early at thirty. Yeah, yeah, congrats. This- yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, congrats at thirty to go buy part of a jungle to carve out, have people build a house for you, do have ex- enough money that you don't even get seen as like a shitty white person that's moving in because no. you're now like pumping so much money back. Like it's not like this person is foraging and then going and living in a mud hut in the jungle. No, they don't live like a local. Like you said, they renovated a quarter of the jungle to yeah. their needs. Ah, yes. To their fucking Can white I get lady, Wi-Fi Pinterest out here? fucking yeah. aesthetics. I have to post my, my out of the matrix TikToks. Um, while we did retire, Jungle life. we did retire from the corporate world. We will still be vlogging. We're still very active on the socials. Very active on IG. I'm very active on IG. My wife loves it. <laughs> no, that's fucking crazy. My, honey, that's like, honey, every, don't you want, you want to show the, uh, you want to live stream this yeah. for the, for that's the like, IG fans. That's like all the people on YouTube or all the bullshitters on Instagram and TikTok that are like, oh, off the grid living, fucking homestead life, but they vlog everything. It's like, you're not off the grid. You have more fucking electronics in this, in this commune, in this fucking off the grid yeah. house than anybody I've seen. Like you have fucking satellite dishes on the roof streaming in bullshit internet and TV. And that one guy has a good, you have YouTube a modem in your house. He's outside and he's like, man, when you want to. I don't know if we watch this together or not, but he's like, man, when you just want to get away from it all and build a cabin out in the middle of nowhere, and then he starts going through, like, all the things it would take to do that. Because yeah. he, he did it, so he's just, like, going through. But he's like, but then you realize you need to run water, you know, because your yeah. simple cabin still needs a shower. So, And then, like, just keeps, he's like, but then you realize you still want to play video games, you know? You didn't want to give that up, so now yeah. you have to run a fucking ether. Yeah, like, <laughs> and now you have to fucking point a satellite, a homemade satellite dish at a tower 3,500 yeah. miles that yeah, way. That usually works, but, you know, sometimes... Sometimes it doesn't, so... Sometimes I wonder if it was all worth it. Just yeah. to be off the grid when... And yeah. Cut to him, like... Off the grid, yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing, yeah. It's just like those people who do the van life shit, which I would love. I would fucking love to buy a short bus, renovate it into a fucking... Put some big tires on it, some solar panels on the roof, drive into the middle of the desert for four days, and then drive back to my house. Where I can live, but uh, and then where the car isn't taking a constant beating and exactly, yeah, exactly. You have to buy a new house every exactly. fucking ten years. Yeah, and then and then you see these people online. They're like, yeah, update on this shit. It sucks. Like it's just glorified homelessness at this point. Like I have no money. Uh, I'm just driving around. I live in Walmart parking lots, and uh, that's my life. It's like, damn. Everybody makes it look so fancy. <laughs> I guess that's because they just live in Colorado in the woods. Right. I was going to say, go, if it's a nature thing, you get away with it better. But, yeah, the second yeah. you're, like, in a parking lot somewhere. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm from Gary, Indiana, and I bought a fucking bus that I renovated. And I'm going to go live. I'm going to drive I'm gonna drive through the Midwest. And it's like, oh, nice. See, Clay Guida's thing was always so cool to me when he was at the gym talking about um, how he had. I forget. I think he had, like, a. I'm pretty sure he had, like, a full-blown RV. But regardless of what the situation was, he had, like, some type of living in a driving situation. But he would just go to different gyms. So, like, your bathroom shower situation is just taken care of. So, like, yeah, you go sleep in the bus or the van or whatever, but, like, you still go take care of business inside. So it kind of alleviated the biggest issue of the whole thing. That's why I liked his setup. Yeah. Stay at gyms. A lot of gyms have, uh, like, quarters now. Quarters? Where you could just live? You could stay for an extended period of time. Really? Like, ATT in Florida, because they have so many international... Mm-hmm. Mostly international. Oh, like they just live at the gym. Places that are, like, hubs. Ah. Or they come in to be... So, a big, big gym. They come in to be training partners for us. Like, they get flown in by oh, a guy. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Especially if you're coming over from, like, Dagestan with no money, and you're like, oh, I have to live somewhere? I'll live at the gym. A lot of Dagestans show up um, in New Jersey. Um, I fucking forget the name of the gym. Uh, Ricardo Almeida's and Mark Henry's. I can't remember the name of it. But 
a lot of Dagestanis show up there first, and uh, they have like a fighter house that the gym owns that they put people up at. ATT has dorms. I think Jackson mm. Wink has dorms. McGregor's got a villa. I'm surprised you're not watching Ultimate Fighter. What's that? Or yeah. is that the, why, is he a coach or something? Yeah, the reality show they do. They brought it back for him. Never seen that show. I've seen uh, I've seen clips of it. It's not really good. I don't like reality. I'm not a big reality guy. Me neither. I probably um, watched two seasons of it, maybe, just to, yeah. like, I'd have it on kind of in the background, you know? Yeah. Usually the thing is, like, you watch the fight at the end. To That's have cool. to talk about. But, yeah, it's 40 minutes of reality show leading of up like, to that. Yeah, of, like, oh, now we got beef going in the ring. Yeah, um, I... I didn't Tremendous. want to take it personally when he said that, but, uh, you know, I'm kinda, gonna let, it's kind of it's kinda fucked up. Uh, I'm going to let him know in the ring. Fucking music. <laughs> everyone heard. Everyone heard what he said to him, you know. Uh, was it the worst thing? No, but also, you know, he knew what he was doing. He knew what was happening. <laughs> man. Cut to someone being held back. Fuck, yeah. the fu- fuck man. Fuck you, man. We'll see you on Saturday. We'll see you on. Yeah. F- we'll see you Saturday night. Angry standoff, weigh in. Man, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, right into the ring. Do, do, do. Next week on Ultimate Fighter. <laughs> fuck. God damn it. I lost. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> fuck. Man, you know he was a good competitor. Sportsmanship. That I think you should leave. He's like. Be me fair and square that time. Be fair. No <laughs> tricks, no nothing. No. <laughs> fair to, to the book. Yeah. That new season been great. I'll probably watch some of that later. You know, see this Apple. Got, look those up. Apple Vision Pro. I'm going to make this thing my phone background. <laughs> it's so crazy. Keep that open. Let's look at that later. Ponder that. What am I looking up? Apple. Vision Pro. Look at this dumb shit. Uh, we don't have to play a video. No. Nah, fuck it. It's literally that's the headset. It's like fucking. It's like ski goggles. Is it just VR? What's happening? It's AR. So what it is is I've been hearing. Can I tell you some? Yeah. I've been hearing about AR since probably 2012, and yeah. it seems to have never progressed anywhere. They used to put it in comics. They'd say this comic has AR in it, where you can put like your phone or iPad over it and, and watch it move. Yeah, and I'd be like, "Wow, that's awesome!" And I would do it, and it would be the most dog shit fucking worthless. Yeah. So please go on. Tell me what strides they've made this with is, AR. This is as what VR continues to boom. Tell me what they've got with AR. This is what this is supposed to be. First of all, the headset is fucking huge. It's this big. It's like wearing an Oculus Rift on your head, but it's got a clear glass front that is going to take photographs of and scans of your face to just re-put your eyes over this fucking thing digitally, right? That's a little fucked up. Or you can have... Minus the giant... Yeah, I don't get it. So it's just going to have your... Okay, whatever. So the thing... The thing would basically be allow you to do shit like this, where you would be able to, like, sit down. Is this, like, what the metaverse tried to be? I guess so. But you're going to be able to, like, edit and, like, have multiple screens going. You can have, you can watch a screen here, like, in front of you and watch a movie. And it's got some dial. It's got an external battery pack that lasts two hours. The battery life is two hours. And the thing is $3,500. But people will line up. People are fucking bombed, I bet. No, people I, will line up. No, a lot of people, have, uh, the reaction videos, they show it off and everybody's like, Wow! Oh, oh it's my. out? No, no, it's not out yet. They like did their press conference yesterday mm-hmm. the other day. And they go, Wow! And then they show the price starting at $3,500. Oh, everybody's upset. But no, I don't know. Battery this shit pack looks outside of it. That's what I mean. It's got like this fucking external battery pack bullshit that only lasts two hours. That's not very Apple. Apple's not at all. I think it's just. Sleek. I think it's just a proof of concept. Look how big this fucking thing is. They want people <laughs> to wear this out. 
The fuck is this? You could be like Tony Stark if he was fucking... Sure. <laughs> if he had fucking tumors in his face. T- <laughs> <laughs> Pump radiation directly yeah. into your brain. Iron Man, more like fucking Iron Skull. <laughs> yeah. But they literally say like, oh, the ultimate theater wherever you are. For how long? Two hours? Hope it's a co- I hope it's a rom-com. Oh, yeah, I hope it's a short fucking movie. Yeah, I don't know, man. Who needs that that badly, though? I would never. I feel like like what purpose does that serve? Like, oh, good, now I imagine get to watch the, my movie while I work on my spreadsheet. Imagine the douchebags that are going to be in Starbucks with their seven screens like this. Just uppercutting people. And then, oh, sorry. My bad. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I was just. I'm in AR right now. I'm get, I'm working on my. I'm, a, I'm in Excel. And you really got to. My bad. You really got to punch up to auto sum. It's, it's the one, two, auto sum <sighs> punch. Oh, you fucking cucks. No, it's, it's going to be. And then apparently next year they're going to release one that's $1,500. And then it'll keep dropping in price. And then seven years from now, it'll be cool. Five years from now, it's going to be something cool. It's going to be probably yeah, something. Yeah, when it's actually the Iron Man thing. Yes, when it's like in my glasses and I can go, oh, boop, and it'll just fucking like do shit for me. I would love a zoom feature where I can like. I've wanted that. And it can like. For a while. Shling. And I could just zoom into things like a hawk. Enhance. Like a hawk. Enhance. Enhance. Hey, snapshot. Photo. Wait a tick. Oh my! Look at the caboose on that one. <laughs> I remember Enhanced. realizing like the power of sunglasses. One trip at a be like I did too. <laughs> I'm, I'm undercover. <laughs> I'm incognito, dude. I remember doing that shit too. I remember walking on the beach. I think we were in Florida. I was a kid, and I can go. I'm returning my mom going. Can you see my eyes in these? <laughs> she goes She goes no they're like mirrored It's really cool and I go it is cool And then just walking around like this I did that like, for a while And then I got new sunglasses and I didn't realize That they weren't like dark oh, oh, So really? I'm just fully like Whoo. Oh my <laughs> yeah. Does that make you horny baby Come on do I uh. But yeah no apparently it's Yeah no this shit's just gonna be like A fucking apple watch on your face it seems like you just got the apps. I don't know. 4Ks for each eye. That's 8K. I don't know if that's how that works. I would assume, right? Two when eyes, it, 8K? No, wouldn't they just both... Both eyes are looking through 4K. It's like it's 23 million pixels. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and that's fine. Custom micro OLED display system. Are you supposed to read it like that? O-L-E-D? I've always said O-L-E-D. I think it's O-L-E-D. Yeah, I don't know, man. I do that a lot wrong, though. That's what I was checking. This shit is gay, though. It's gonna be dumb. Deep in some of the VR (sighs) missions. Deep in. That was crazy. Deep. He's talking about VR, too. Really? Yeah. You gotta love Tom Segura and the Your Joe Mom's Rogue. House podcast. Joe Rogan, Burt Kreischer. Now we could tag all these things. Come Town. I might have just died. I don't know. July fourth. Your Tom battery died. July fourth. Oh, it's special. That's what you were saying. That's fucking crazy. That's exciting. It's exciting. It Haven't had a good special in a minute. I think Sam Moore Muriel was the last one I saw. See, that one was okay. It was very jokey. Like yeah. Set up punch. Yeah, it was all right. And then um, the one before that was Shane Gillis. His was a banger. Banger. I think it was tremendous. Um, Stav had a good podcast. Or a uh, good stand-up. It, it was, was good. His was, was pretty funny. Um, I got to rewatch Tim Dillon's. Nick Nick Kroll had a good one. That one on. I think that uh, was old. I need old, to watch though. it. I think that was old. Oh. I think it's like 2019. 2020. Um, see, I liked Kreischer's. You didn't like that one. 
think it's funny on podcasts. Yeah. The stand up is always very like uh forced to me. Mm. I just feel like he goes up there and just talks. Really? Yeah, this I don't know. He he, he does a lot about his family. Like this one was literally just like stories about how funny his family is. His life just seems crazy. But he also talks about a lot of it on the podcast, I'm sure. That's what I'm saying. I feel like him just talking about it's usually funny. And when he goes up there, it always seems so like manufactured. I mean, I yeah. guess. Are you going to watch his movie? I'd like to say that I was going to go out and support it, but I don't. I don't really go to the movies for anything. I'm not. No, no, no I'm not going to watch it in the movie theater. I'll watch it like yeah, once yeah. it's on something. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could have said like, "Yeah, I got your back, bro. I'll go watch your movie." Because this is kind of like. Obviously, he's got, like, Mark Hamill and shit in it, but he's the first comedian in a while to get a movie, I feel like. Yeah. Other than maybe Pete Davidson. I hope it's done right. I hope it's funny. I'm not the most confident that it's going to be. I hope it is. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You'd hope that it, if he has a hand in it, it's going to be something, like, fun, where it's like, oh, this is just, like, it's not taking itself seriously. It's not yeah. a fucking, like, action thriller it's literally just like, oh, let's put Burt Kreischer in this situation. I do hope it's successful, though, because Tim Dillon always talks about how, like, he'd like to do a movie, and I heard him talking with Colin Quinn about, like, you just, like, everyone, you have all these numbers on Twitter and all these numbers on the podcast, but do they come out and watch a movie? Like, it's great It's great to think you have, like, millions of people that will flock to a theater yeah. that translates to ticket sales, but it's like... You don't know till you know, so I really hope it is successful. Yeah, because then it's like, oh shit! I feel like it will be though. Like, I hope. He has enough. I, yeah, I don't know how shit works at the movies anymore though. If you're not like the fucking also, Avengers or anything. Also, movies. I feel like movies haven't like been like good. Like good directors still release movies and shit, but a lot of it's just remakes or. Avengers franchise. or franchise films, Disney's next big film. It's the stock stuff. Yeah, it's weird. Like, I, I, I hate going to the movies because you see bullshit like this and it's like, oh, it's not like, I don't know. Nothing feels like it's not artsy anymore. It's not. It's, it's funny. Cause there's no art in it. It's like from both perspe- both sides of it. You want your shit on that side. And they don't even have room for it anymore because they have no. so much Avengers and shit in there. Yeah. Meanwhile, I, we never thought we'd get all these fucking Avengers yeah. movies and, and shit. shit. And they fucking, they don't even make them for us anymore. Like, no, there's made for fucking. We got to be the launching pad of this, like, getting them money and success. Yeah. And then, like, five years later, people, when they got done laughing at Deadpool memes, they were like, Move, Deadpool movie? And while they waited for that, they were like, I guess we'll watch Guardians of the Galaxy. And then fucking my life has never been the same since. Because <laughs> fucking people are like, I'm actually like super into Marvel. I should like, what? Yeah, no, I really like Marvel. Like, like superheroes or con- no Marvel. You ever hear of them? Okay. They're like a, they're like a comic book company. Yeah. Iron Man's like the biggest one. Like, oh. Yeah, uh, Iron Man runs him. Iron- Tony Stark. Have you heard of him? You fucking idiot. Are you out of the Are you out of the loop, man? What's wrong with you? Ugh. You got to get in there, man. Watch the films. Keep up with the universe, dude. I did. I did, and then they stole it from me. They took it from me, I from did. my cold, dead hands. They, they They teased me for a decade with Thanos, and then they chopped his fucking head off. They did do that. They did do that, Mark. They did. They did do ain't, that. Ain't that crazy? They, they did have Thanos bested by Thor, not even using his fucking hammer. No. They gave, which they forced an axe into his fucking hand because they couldn't come up. I, 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 no one's ever said this. I guarantee you the reason they did this is to choreograph better fight scenes. The axe? Yeah. I'm, I guarantee you. Has he because, never had an axe in his hand? He does, comments. he does, but it's happened so more recently, and it's the constant thing of, like... His sister broke his hammer, though. Oh, in uh, the movie. Isn't that what happened? Is that why he didn't have the hammer? 
in the movie. Yeah, I love grabbed it and broke it or some yeah. shit. Yeah. It was hella rude. Nice. It's the thumbnail. De- delete. It's the thumbnail. <laughs> delete. It's the thumbnail. <laughs> this is the thumbnail. <laughs> Fuck! No, uh... No. They're good movies. Because if you watch Avengers, when he fights Loki... Yeah. The hammer's cool when he beats up people. Yeah, it's loco. It... What? Good God. (laughs) (laughs) The hammer's cool, yes, when he beats up people. It's sick. But to fight them, it's not as cool. What do you mean? If it's, if it's not Thor running through someone with a hammer, oh. and he's got to battle them, now it becomes difficult to kind of have a fight scene. It's hard to choreograph a fight scene with a hammer when most people have a sword or something. Because they could stab someone? Watch the fight scene with Thor and Loki. It's fucking... Um, oh, the computer died. Um, Th- Loki's got, like, his staff thing and can hit him from a mile away. So yeah. Thor's got to, like... Block with a fucking little hammer and then like launch him back and sprint at him and then try to and it's just it's dumb. It's not a good yeah. fight scene. So I feel like to do that in comics you can do it cooler because it's still so you just put them at every cool part, you know. But yeah, in the movie you have to Getting watch him point sprint a at him like B, a fucking yeah. loser. Yeah, it's like why wouldn't you just have a sword? Yeah, if you're at least to fight this guy with a sword and you can pick your hammer out when you beat him and then yeah, fuck him up with a, him. Up. Yeah, but what does a sword do that a hammer can't? Cover range. I mean, most range? of it was a range issue, from what oh, I could tell. Interesting. Okay. This was a very goofy scene, and then I feel like they don't even let Thor fight unless he's just running through someone. Can we play this? Sure. We can't play it on the pod. Though, right? We can't play Marvel shit, right? No, but if you play it off there, it'll be fine. Yeah. Let's see what this is about. I think even if you play it that way, it's fine. Think so? Yeah, it's not like we have it on the... It's not like we put it here. Yeah, even if we put it behind us, we'd probably be okay. You think so? Maybe. I don't know. This is definitely fine. We definitely can't play audio. That would be an issue. A no-no. What the fuck is going on? Is this the part you're saying? Uh, Not really. I think they're fighting more in, like, a city. Maybe it was, like, what led to this. I don't know. It's pretty much just a lot of blocking. Yeah. Like, some dude has a long weapon, goes to hit him. Thor covers behind his hammer in the spot where he's getting hit at. Then he goes and runs at him and tries to hit him in the recoil. Oh, yeah, this is what I was... Hmm. Interesting. So he's got to catch. He's got to try to swing a hammer like to meet a sword halfway through. Like you did every, all five moves in the fucking first ten seconds. All he can do is whip it back and forth. He's not doing shit with it. That's why it was so goddamn dumb when in the last movie they had Captain America. I thought it was cool that he was able to hold it. Then he does like a fucking thing and like shoots lightning through the ground, and it was that like, was weird. Yeah, I one he shouldn't be able to use lightning. Two, how does he have moves right off the bat that Thor's never done? He also probably shouldn't be able to hold it, right? He should be able to hold it. Why? He's worthy. He is worthy. Interesting. So I vision could hold it. Oh, I forgot vision can hold it. That's right. I mean, in what the makes mo- you worthy though? I mean, it's kind of like a pure of heart, bravery, courage. You know, just okay, an amalgam of. Good so he should have been able to pick it up, but then been like, I don't really know how to use this. He should have been able to go hit someone with it. Yeah. not He shouldn't have been able to. He's not the god of thunder. He shouldn't have been able to call down lightning. If you want to make the argument that's like, that's yes, contained into the hammer. whoever holds the hammer of Thor shall wield Be his the power. the god of lightning. Fine. Let him call down a lightning strike. He shouldn't know fucking moves and be able to shoot lightning yeah. through the ground all of a sudden. It was crazy. Do you think he knew how to... Do you think he was able to pick up the hammer in Avengers 2, but he decided not to? In Age of Ultron? Yeah, when he oh. makes the hammer go... I don't remember. You don't remember that? When they're going around the table and they're like, pick it up, try picking it up. And everybody tries and no mm-hmm. one could do it. And then he goes, all right. And he goes to pull it and he like... Eh. 
like moves uh, it and Thor gives him the look mm-hmm. and he like like drops and he's like, nah, I can't do it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I think and I don't know how many I'd really get that. off on that, man. Nice like Easter honestly. Egg. No, a nice Easter egg. I love it. Mmm. Mm. <sighs> oh, a little Easter egg. Christ. I need it. Run it back. Uh, let's watch the scene. Is there a better movie than Avengers? Than <laughs> Avengers Age of Ultron? Yeah. Is there a better movie than that? I think not. I've been meaning to rewatch Winter Soldier just for that scene where he fucking. Oh, when he fucking. Yeah. I love when he catches the bullet. I was thinking today about if uh, someone's body was made the way that they make his arm in that movie, where it's kind of like shifty and like it all snaps like. Yeah. Because the or arm if, almost what, makes it seem what like. If you replace every joint with a, a fucking. <laughs> Like a fucking gear mechanism. Yeah, because, like, however they have it set, it almost seemed like it was moving in two directions. Like, some stuff was moving backwards. Like, as the one thing is pushing the arm out to punch, it's almost like other things are sliding backwards to, like, reinforce the shoulder then and to, like, jettison this out faster. It seemed like there was, like, so much going on. That'd be incredible animation if they did that. I just figured cool. all that out. That'd It'd, be wild. I just thought it'd be cool if someone's whole body was like that. So then every time they moved, they had like the You'd get the black the, guy from uh the stored energy, you know what I'm saying? Of like every No wasted energy. All you, yeah, all your movement would then be like recycled back through the suit and then Ah. So it's almost like the suit has like free motion and wherever it needs the suit is the energy and wherever you need the energy you see the suit shift to like oh he needs to push off his back foot. So you yeah. see like a ripple effect down to his foot and yeah, then you so see you the see some stuff like expel of energy that then recoils launch ba- up, recoils yeah. back up to his arm because he's about to punch somebody. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool if it was like a singular ball of like energy that goes through a, a suit. To like charge like up the different Iron points. Man suit that like he just kind of throws and like wraps around and like a just exoskeleton yeah. style, not like yeah. a suit of armor. Nanobots. Nanobots. I fucking love nanobots. They're so scary. <sighs> well, on that note, God. Another, another fear-mongering episode. Yeah, we're getting back in the swing of it. We're feeling it. This was a good episode. This we felt got, good. We got to keep descending the yeah. rabbit hole, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to harm our brains and hey, livelihoods. by. We're going to do it for you so you don't have to. How about that? And just like that, we're in. Other half of a sandwich doesn't sound too bad. Doesn't sound too bad right now. Another bong hit. I'm really enjoy myself. <laughs> really get some work done. Rip down some conduit in the garage. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a good day. Fucking be a good day. Hey, to that fucking cocksucker who said get out of your mom's basement, we did. You fucking piece of shit. Now I hope you I fuck I fucking hope you die. I don't know By if my get, hands. I don't know preferably. if you could, I don't know if you could say that online. Um sorry. <sighs> well, we'll see you fuckers next week. And just like that. Chris, go to sleep. Yes.